Okay, let's cover graphing data in Gretel. First of all, open our data set. This is the chicken data set. We'll be using in a lot of these tutorials. Different bunch of graphs you can have. You can see there's no range there. We're just going to focus really on two types today. Time series plots. You can have it for one variable. Let's say for the dependent variable, which is the demand for chicken. You can see that's going up over time. Bunch of options on the screen here. We can make the graph bigger. We can make the graph smaller. We could export as a PDF. Or most importantly for your purposes, we can export as a Windows Meta file or as a PNG file. They'll go nicely into Word, which will be useful for your project. So OK, let's close that screen. As well as having a time series plot of one variable, we could have a time series plot of two variables. So let's have disposable income and our dependent variable. Different uh, axes, notice. One's on one side of the screen, one's on t'other. Both are going up over time, and again, you could save this if you wanted to. Last sort of graph I'm going to really talk about today is the notion of having multiple scatter graphs. Useful to teach it you now, it'll become much more important when we start discussing multicollinearity later in the course. So let's have our base variable, which is going to be x3, the price of chicken. And our other variable is going to be x2, x4, x5, disposable income, price of beef and price of pork. Now, notice, got three nice scatter diagrams here. What we're noticing, I think, broadly here is there's an upward trend in each case. That suggests there could be a relationship between the price of each of these variables. That could be a problem for us. We'll discuss that more in multicollinearity. Again, you can save this if you want to, to put into your project if you think it's going to tell you a good story. So, there we are. We've covered graphing in Gretel. I uh, hope you found this useful.